So I know, obviously, this is what everybody is talking about at the moment, but the reason that I, I was really keen to, to talk about it is, and I know we are sick of this word, but it's, it's so unprecedented. You know, I was saying to you, the fact that it, it's been, the clock has been run down this far is not something that I was expecting. I think if we keep in mind the policymakers have used up two-thirds of their accounting kind of gimmicks and, and, and uh, different things that they can do to try and stretch the available money that the US government has, um, that's really quite stark. It's very symbolic that we're now in single figures when we're looking at the countdown to this supposed um, default. Um, and obviously markets, what I would say, haven't fully necessarily priced in all of the risk. Um, so what we're seeing, yes, we are seeing the markets on a bit of a downwards um, trajectory today, but there's not, you know, I'd say that the, the concern is, is tempered. You know, it's not gone that far. Um, but what I would just say is there's been a surprise on, on my end that it's, it's, got, it's got this far. I do still believe a deal's coming, um, but the fact it's gone this far um, is, is really quite surprising to me. Um, what do you think about positioning on this? Because on deal day, I mean, you could quite easily say, oh, yeah, Dow was up 700 points today or or the S&P was up 2% or whatever. It's kind of got like one of those feels to it as well. So what, is, is that actually the case? Do you think, OK, we either definitely get a deal or for some reason we don't get a deal? What kind of volatility are we talking about? Because as you quite rightly say, some of the moves are not pricing in both scenarios. I know the VIX, for instance, still stubbornly below 20 uh, at 18.5 for the most recent figure I have as well. So not necessarily factoring in the big moves that could come. No, definitely not. I mean, certainly you look at the, the last two weeks, aggregate equity purchases have been absolutely storming. Um, so certainly there's not that much concern. So that tells me really that I do think a deal is coming. I will just push, push that point. Um, if a deal doesn't happen, I do think it's very likely that we are going to see um, some quite significant volatility. But it does depend on the kind of the nuanced commentary around that. You know, how far off is a deal? Have they been able to, to sort something else out? Um, but I do think it could be it could be quite sharp if we don't get a deal. Okay. It could be bad anyway, right? But if you think about what we've had this year, concerns around the banking system, just how banks are set up around their loan books, maturity profiles. So we've had, what, three banks already requiring rescuing. Concerns around the credit markets in terms of financing, say, commercial real estate projects because interest rates have gone up so aggressively. If we change the yield states are based on concerns around default, uh, with the events we've already had playing out, this is even worse, isn't it, this time around, if that were to happen? I don't think there's any way to, to look at the upcoming deadline as anything other than quite scary for, for markets. Um, but I would say, particularly when we look at the banking crisis, um, that's actually been a lot more contained, particularly at this point. You know, I would say that. Um, so when we look at particularly the, the really important banks, the massive ones, they've actually become a little bit more they've become stronger off the back of, of recent turmoil. You know, they've brought on more deposits. Their actual balance sheets are looking in, in really reasonable health. So the banking crisis for me um, is actually not maybe so much of a, of a problem at the moment. But, I mean, you're saying what will be the outcome of, you know, this, this U.S. default if it happens, um, yes, it would be it would be quite it would be quite bad. And, you know, we could be looking at, um, at kind of a, a speeded up recession in, in the U.S. environment. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.